I'm Evan from EvanFlies.com, and I'm at the awesome Hiller Vertical Challenge Helicopter Air Show. This year, the U.S. Marine Corps sent a V-22 Osprey up to the show. The V-22 is an amazing tilt roller, tilt rotor aircraft that flies like an airplane but can land like a helicopter. It can carry 24 combat troops and is twice as fast as a helicopter and can go twice as far as one too. I'm really lucky to get to interview its pilot, Captain Biddle. Captain, it must be super competitive to get to be a V-22 pilot. Was it hard to get to the position where you can fly it? Well, Evan, honestly, it uh, is competitive to be a military pilot anytime. Um, it's not just uh, V-22s, anytime that you have guys that are going out and flying jets, or flying helicopters, right. or anything like that, it's going to be a difficult job. Um, it was competitive for me to get into the V-22, even a little, uh, it, it, it was difficult. I really had to put a lot of effort into studying and all that kind of stuff. Right. But uh, it's one of the best decisions I ever made, and I've had nothing but fun doing it ever since. So the hard work is worth it. Yeah. What's it like to fly the V-22? Is it a helicopter or an airplane mix, or is it just different? It's really different. We like to think of ourselves as an airplane that can land like a helicopter, not a <laughs> helicopter that flies like an airplane. Right. This thing wants to be an airplane. It does much better as an airplane. It can go a long way when you get the uh, engines rolled down and you turn it into a, a, into a propeller air, airplane. It uh, doesn't do nearly as well when it's in uh, it, it, when it's flying along like a helicopter. It just doesn't go as far. It doesn't go as fast. It's not oh. as comfortable. So you, you like it better as an airplane? I do. It's a lot of fun to go 250 knots. You're not going to do that in a helicopter. Right. So, what other airplanes or aircraft have you flown? Well, I have. Uh, I started off flying in airplanes like this. I uh, I flew in a Piper uh, PA28 uh, oh. Cherokee when I was in training. Then I uh, transitioned to what's called a T34. It's oh, yeah, a single-engine airplane that the Navy flies for training. I also have flown what's called a TC-12. It's a uh, multi-engine trainer that the uh, military flies out of Corpus Christi, Texas. That's where I trained on that. Then I've also flown a uh, what's called a TH-57. It's a Bell Jet Ranger helicopter. And I That's flew cool. that for a few hours as well. So that was all prior to the B-22 and that got me ready to be at where I need to be in here. Right. I heard the V-22 won't auto-rotate like a helicopter but it can't land like an airplane. What do you do if you lose an engine in flight? Can it glide and land like a plane? Well, if we lose one engine in flight, it's not really an issue for us. The whole, uh, the whole airplane is designed to fly with only one engine. It was designed really? from the beginning for that. It, uh, it has two engines on each end of the wings, but uh, unlike a typical multi-engine airplane, it actually has a drive shaft, like on a truck or something like that, that uh, runs from one engine to the other, and it will actually go ahead and uh, keep both pro uh, propellers spinning for us. So the only time that we would have to ever auto-rotate or anything like that is if we lose both engines. They also have, uh, the engineers that designed it took that into account as well. We have. Uh, we have a wing on the airplane that we like to make use of in addition to any auto-rotative capabilities that we have from coming from the propellers. We'd be stupid not to. If it's, uh, it's not going to generate lift for us, then it's just going to uh, be extra weight. So uh, we go ahead and we, we try to keep uh, lift on the wing even when we're trying to auto-rotate the airplane all the way until the very end when we're trying to land. The thing will uh, generate lift as low as 40 knots, so uh, we, we, we usually aim for a about a 40 knot auto-rotative roll on landing. And the thing is completely survivable if you do that. Nobody has ever tested it before, but uh, if we ever have to in, uh, in a real life situation, a real life emergency, we'd, we'd be completely comfortable doing it and we train to that standard. Oh. That's pretty cool. It's a lot of fun. Yep. Not in real life though. The simulator. Yeah. <laughs> you must be really, you must really feel proud to be assigned to the aircraft. Have you used it in Iraq or Afghanistan? Absolutely. I have uh, flown this airplane in Iraq. Really? I was over in Iraq from uh, April to October of 2008. We uh, flew the thing all over Western Al Anbar province and mm -hmm. throughout, uh, the, throughout the uh, Operation Iraqi Freedom uh, area of responsibility, area of operations rather. We flew from uh, Al Assad Air Base in Western Iraq and we uh, ranged throughout the entire country. We flew people cool. all over the place, both day and night, landing wherever that is that they uh, told us to land. 
did you see combat or did you get did you get shot at? Well, honestly, I don't know if I got shot at. We um, were flying along so high and so fast that it's very difficult to see tracers. It's very difficult to see. Uh, you, you, you don't really know if you're getting shot at or not. Um, I've never had a round impact an airplane that I was in, yeah, I and I've never felt like I was in danger in this airplane before. Right. Have you had any um, accidents in any airplanes, or have you had any crashes? No, I've never crashed an airplane. I've never had an accident. Good I've, job. Uh, thank you. It, uh, and that's what we train for. We, we, we train to keep ourselves safe, but uh, also, God forbid, if we ever get into a situation where we're going to have to actually uh, have some sort of an issue, well, we, uh, we're, we're trained to do that as well. Cool. So why did you choose the Marine Corps instead of the Air Force or the Navy? Well, honestly, um, I chose the Marine Corps when I was uh, coming out of college. And I chose the Marine Corps because I actually wanted to be a uh, Marine ground officer. I wanted to join as an infantry officer. Really? It wasn't until after I uh, went and spoke with the recruiters down at the recruiting station that they told me I could be a pilot. And uh, from then it was game over. I went ahead and went the uh, pilot route. But right. in the Marine Corps, we have a unique uh, we have a unique mission that we are uh, we're required to be ready to go out and be a ground officer as well as a uh, pilot. I actually just got done with a tour in Iraq on the ground, training the Iraqi army in Western Al Anbar province. We were out chasing terrorists around in Humvees. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty insane. It's, it's unique. It's not something that people are uh, used to. Yeah. Right. Do you have any cool flying or combat stories you can share with me? Well, I got to tell you, every time we go flying in this thing, it's, uh, it's really cool. It's really something else. Um, we can go out and we can uh, land this airplane anywhere. We can take it pretty much anywhere. I've flown this thing as far as 1,200 miles on a single tank of gas. Wow. And uh, at the end of that, we could go out and land in somebody's backyard if we wanted to. Obviously, we're not going to do that. It's <laughs> a, uh, it's a, well, it's going to wake up the neighbors, among other things. Uh, it's a possibility that we can uh, we can take advantage of if the person we're landing at the, the house we're landing at happens to be a terrorist or something along those lines. Right. <laughs> All right. It's so cool. Thank you so much for coming to the 2010 Vertical Challenge. Oh well, it's, it's my pleasure. The entire crew up here has had a great time on the airplane. We've had a great time talking to folks like yourself. Everybody's Thanks. really enthusiastic, and uh, it. it, it it really does, it, it, enthusiasm breeds enthusiasm. We've just had a great time up here uh, talking to you all and having a good time seeing everybody else out here. Yeah, do you think you're gonna be here uh, next year? Well, that's not my decision, but uh, I know that the crew has had a great time and we'll just, we'll have to see whether or not the uh, squadron uh, can support it. I know, if everyone's looking forward to you coming back. Oh, you know. well, I would, I would hopefully uh, I get the opportunity to make it up here. If we, if, if we can pull it off as a squadron and if we have the uh, flight hours available, if we have the aircraft available, then I'm sure it's something that they're going to look at. All right. All right. Well, thank you. Oh, my pleasure, Evan. It's a pleasure to meet you. Man.